Hello, I'm Michael from Galil Motion Control, and welcome to the introduction to Galil Design Kit. This is the first video in a series covering the features, functions, and usage of this software. In this video, I will be covering the software's features and tools at a general, introductory level, while the next videos will cover the individual tools in greater detail. Galil Design Kit, or GDK, is Galil Motion Control's application development environment. Built on the efficient and powerful GCLib programming API, Communication with Galil Motion Controllers and PLCs is simple and effective. GDK's modular design allows communication with one or many controllers using a full-featured toolset. Let's take a look at the software. On the left-hand side, you can see a line of icons. Each of these icons represents a tool that GDK can use to interact with a controller. The top icon is the icon for the manager. The manager is where you will go to connect with Galil hardware as well as control the layout of all open tools, view error logs, and access settings. Each of the tabs within the manager takes care of one step in the process of connecting to a controller. Assigning an IP address, if connecting over Ethernet, creating a connection to a controller, and managing the connection details. The manager also allows you to give each connection a unique application-specific name, which is very useful for keeping track of applications using many controllers. Next is the terminal which is used for basic communication between you and the controller. From the terminal, you can connect to a controller, send it commands, query configuration parameters, as well as receive messages. Due to its modular design, GDK can open multiple instances of each tool, including the terminal. This allows multiple terminals to be opened to either the same or different controllers, making it easy to create an effective layout. Following the terminal is the editor. The editor is a programming interface for writing, downloading, and executing DMC programs. A DMC program is a set of instructions that runs locally on the motion controller, allowing it to operate independently from a PC or other supervisory system. The editor in GDK also includes a feature that is new to Galil software, which we call the preprocessor. The preprocessor helps to speed up programming time by allowing a programmer to modify, adjust, and include features in a DMC program that are not normally possible. The binoculars icon is what we call the viewer. This tool is a real-time data visualizer, displaying information from the connected controller or PLC. The viewer comes pre-equipped with various layouts depending on the connected controller, but the real strength of this tool lies in its ability to be customized. With a little know-how, the viewer can be customized to allow for the user to display exactly the information they want to see. This makes the viewer tool useful during all phases of an application's development because views can be created to display relevant information in a way that the user finds most helpful. Another method of data visualization is the oscilloscope. Where the viewer is meant more for general controller status observation, the scope is meant for real-time data analysis and information gathering. Simple and easy to understand, the GDK scope assists in making tasks such as tuning and motion optimization easy to visualize. Often used in tandem with the scope, the Tuner tool is home to Galil's auto-tuning function. This tool allows you to run the auto-tuning algorithm as well as send test signals to assist in quantifying the system's response. Tuning a servo motor can be completed in just a few clicks using this tool, making the normally time-consuming process a snap. For new Galil users, there is the step-by-step -step tool. The purpose of this tool is to assist with the process of getting new controllers up and running starting with the connection process and assisting all the way through motor setup, I.O. wiring, and even how to command the controller to move a motor. Step-by-step -step makes the process of getting up to speed with a Galil controller easier than ever. The test tool contains the underlying algorithms used by Step-by-Step -step to assist in controller setup. This tool is not intended for beginners, however, for experienced Galil users, this tool provides a powerful set of functions to help get even the most complex applications running quickly. Once the controller is configured, the Setup tool provides the ability to manage, edit, save, and restore the unique configuration of a particular controller via a special file that GDK creates. This file, which we call a Galil Compressed Backup, contains all of the information which makes up the controller's configuration. This tool makes the process of restoring a controller to a previous configuration, or making copies of the controller, so those settings can be loaded onto others, a breeze. For applications using EtherCAT, the EtherCAT tool is used to configure Galil's line of EtherCAT slave drives, the EDD37000. This tool assists in the configuration of the EDD from start to finish. 
everything from automated motor setup to I.O. configuration and error handling. Lastly, if you ever need a refresher on any of the items discussed in this video, the GDK documentation contains short helpful overviews, the basics of connecting, references for each tool, walkthroughs on tuning, and other topics are all covered in our documentation. That concludes our first video, the introduction to Galil Design Kit. Our next video will cover the process of getting a new controller connected, communicating, and finally creating and running a simple program. Hello, I'm Michael from Galil Motion Control, and welcome to the introduction to Galil Design Kit.